Hey, how you doing? Ben Broussard with Loga here with this week's Drilling Report. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Thanks, you guys, for tuning in on this beautiful Louisiana Tuesday. Let's get right to it, shall we? Let's do this! Starting things off with the latest prices, West Texas Intermediate greets us down almost $3 to $43.91, with Louisiana Light Sweet down a few bucks to $45.72 a barrel. December Henry Hub gains to $2.35 per MMBTU. EIA Hub Spot Price through November 2nd reads under the $2 mark at $1.92 per MMBTU. In terms of the U.S. rig count, dropped 12 rigs two weeks ago and only four this week to end out at 771, down 1,154 from a year prior. Okay, starting off in the Haynesville where companies saw eight permits come through, six in DeSoto, that would be three for Chesapeake in Red River Bull Bayou and three for Exco in Holly. Finally, two Haynesville permits for Vine at Red Oak Lake in Red River Parish. Second week in a row, number of producing wells drops in the Haynesville. However, only six down this week. Total Haynesville wells in pre-production up to 277. As for the whole of North Louisiana, Red River adds a rig, bringing the parish up to six running rigs. However, DeSoto, Bossier, and Lincoln all drop a rig apiece, bringing North Louisiana down to 28 rigs. Tuscaloosa Marine Shale quiet as a church mouse. Pre-production numbers stay at nine. Moving on to South Louisiana land, Hillcorp and Shoreline still drilling on in Cameron Parish. Warhorse oil and gas drilling at the Lake Arthur Field, currently just over 10,000 feet. South Louisiana land taking one from Robert Lloyd and creeping slow and steady at six rigs. Inland Water, LLOX still working at Jefferson's Manila Village. Lafouche adds an Inland Water project yet to be defined. Last week's question, what is surely better than three rigs in Inland Water? four rigs. That's what. Louisiana State Offshore Water is still quiet for the time being. Finally, OCS Federal Drilling unchanged from last week, coming in at 32 running drilling projects. As a whole, Louisiana ended out at 70 active drilling projects for the week, down one rig over last report. Now, as for deep water permits, we've got two of those. One for Shell Offshore at Alaminos Canyon Block 856, the other for Log at Viosca Knoll Block 960. Shallow water, one permit actually. This one for Arena Offshore at South Timbalier, Block 130. Back on land, we grabbed up 13 permits in only four Louisiana parishes. The vast majority of these were in the Haynesville for Chesapeake, Exco, and Vine. However, we can call three for Memorial in Lincoln's Terryville, along with one in Ruston for Lynn Energy. Finally, Davis Petroleum permits in Cameron Canal in Vermilion Parish. This week's permits went out in DeSoto, Lincoln, Red River, and Vermilion Parishes. Hey, you want a little more info? Be sure and check out the Office of Conservation's website. Thanks to you guys for listening to this report and sharing it with the folks you know. Forward that email or click this button right here to share it on up. Don't forget to follow Loga for up-to-date news on the oil and gas industry right here in Louisiana. Until next time, this is Ben Broussard with Loga TV.